Exodus chapters 7, 8, and 9 was the reading today. And we're in a section here in the story of the exodus of the Israelites leaving Egypt, where there are these plagues that are being sent as a judgment upon Pharaoh and the people of Egypt. And um, I encourage you to go back, if, if you didn't watch the opening video of Exodus, because it explains kind of the context and a good way to understand this, particularly with the uh, mention of of how Pharaoh's heart was hard or became hard or was hardened and gives good background to that. Something that stuck out, stuck out to me, uh, particularly as it was talking about this hail, the, this plague of hail. It was, um, first of all, it's interesting. A lot of times we notice that, that God, as he's, as he's bringing this judgment, he shows a difference between the Israelites and the Egyptians, right? So the, the Israelites, uh, the first plagues, it doesn't say anything about um, them not being affected. But then as the latter plagues, it says that they're not affected. And when the plague of hail comes, it says this, right? That, that hey, uh, there's going to be a hailstorm that's going to be uh, deadly. But it's not going to affect the land of Goshen where the Israelites live. But then also it says anyone who is um, faithful or fears God or, or, or believes in in the God of heaven... Um, to go get your stuff out of the field, bring your livestock, bring your, your workers, your, your servants in so that you preserve life. And it gives the account that there were people, right, that in the indication is that they're not um, Israelites who are believing what God says. And these people, right, experience safety because they, they, they take the warning of God um, seriously. And I think that's kind of a beautiful thing is that God is always providing a way for willing people, right? He he doesn't he doesn't want people to be uh, hurt or experience hardship. In fact, um, the Bible talks about God's character being one that doesn't delight in, in in the wicked experiencing negative consequences, but wants people to turn and experience life and joy. And I think we see that here in this picture of uh, these 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 different plagues happening in Egypt. And that just kind of struck me because I'd never really. St- thought about that as I'd read through this story before, um, that not only was God protecting his people, but uh, he was giving an, an opportunity for anyone who's willing. And we'll see that more as we go through the different plagues of Egypt, that there's always a an opportunity for response to God. And when we respond to God's calling on our lives, um, there's blessing that comes with that. So I hope that you are responding to God's calling in your life.